the UK. At King's, I lead our Eco Society and co-chair the Cambridge Schools Eco Council. Over 30 local schools working to protect our earth through youth strikes for climate change, climate assemblies and eco projects. I'm also editing a global blog, Nico's Natural World. It is a huge honour to speak to you today here at the Government House about our primary school debates on Tuesday. We came together as students from different countries, including the Philippines, Serbia, Australia, Canada, and the UK, to find ways to protect life on land, SDG 15. We were debating, but we all had a lot in common. Especially, we believe that every species of life is unique and precious, just like every child. If you agree, raise your hand now. Thank you. Unfortunately, as recent assessments show, and as we discussed in our government and citizens group working groups during the debates, thousands of species are facing extinction. If we clear our forests, degrade our mountains, and drown our wetlands, destroying whole ecosystems, we are stealing from future generations of life on land. Who can stand up for these voiceless creatures? We can. We agreed that even the smallest child can make a big difference. Our youngest debater was only six and had great ideas. In our debates, as government and citizens, we came up with a plan together with tons of solutions that all our societies could adopt. We questioned each other, other but actually we learned a great deal and agreed on a lot. We had ideas from new policies based on eco-science and education change business and citizens' behaviours. For instance, we can educate and raise awareness about ecosystems and biodiversity, starting eco-clubs and holding eco-assemblies in our schools. We can change our own practices to stop destroying habitat, cutting paper and pencils entirely in favour of tablets powered by renewables. We can all act to protect nature ourselves, becoming local guardians for native plants and building back to bee and bird habitats. Most importantly, we can all find courage to speak up, organising teachings, petitions, student strikes, street theatre and a lot more to stand up for nature. We may be little, but we've been learning. Young people are the key for life on land. All beings and all life on land are at stake. It's urgent. If you agree to help save our earth, stand up now. Thank you.